So let's go on a drive through the Napa Valley, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys some crazy stories of what's happened to me in the past week while Ubering. Now, if you don't know, my last car got stolen in Las Vegas, so I actually had to get a new car. New cars are generally pretty expensive, so I have to pay a certain amount every month, and I decided to go ahead and put my car to work and sign up for Uber and try out being an Uber driver. This is probably one of the best ideas that I've had because not only does it pay pretty well, but a lot of crazy and interesting things happen. And you meet a lot of very, I don't know how to say this, interesting people. Yeah, let's just go with that. So when I first signed up, I thought that, you know, I would either get robbed or somebody would puke in my car. And it turns out that things even more interesting than that can happen while Ubering. Today, I'm going to tell you about the story of probably the most intoxicated. I'm pretty sure this guy was on some kind of drugs. He was with a friend and he was seriously just beyond messed up. It was frightening to even see this guy. Now, when this guy requests a ride, he calls me immediately afterwards and he doesn't say anything. So I hang up and then he calls again and he doesn't say anything. So, and then he keeps calling me over and over. Now, this was the first sign that I should have just been like, okay, I should just cancel this guy. But he had a good rating on Uber, so it didn't really seem that suspicious. Maybe he was butt dialing or something like that. Then when I get there, he stumbles out of his apartment, trips and falls down. His friend is there with him, like trying to help him out. But this guy is also either drunk or on drugs or both. And then he gets up and keeps stumbling and he like stumbles his way to my car and he starts shouting. He's like, hey man, you got a flat tire, man. We can't go anywhere. Please, you got a flat tire. Where am I? I'm like, uh, I don't have a flat tire. He's like, yeah, man, you do. It's all flat and shit. I can't see the tire, man. Where are we going? Can I get in the car now? So he's just like all over the place and this guy is like stumbling and he's a complete and total fucking disaster. I'm pretty sure he's on drugs. Now, if I wasn't so new to Uber, I would have known to just not give this guy a ride, but I did anyway, which was the biggest mistake in my entire life. And as soon as he got in the car, his first words were, I think I'm going to throw up. And I literally get out of the car and I'm like, hey man, if you're going to throw up, you got to do it here. You cannot throw up in my car. He's like, hey man, you got a flat tire. So he goes back to that shit. This guy's all over the place. I can't even like get him coordinated. Or Anyway, I give him like a minute to calm down and kind of get himself together and it kind of works, but not really. So when he gets himself together a little bit more, I ask him where he wants to go because obviously the guy wasn't sober enough or not high enough to know where he was going. And his only response was, we're going to motherfucking Candyland, man. Now his friend who's with him is like also drunk or high or on something, but not nearly as bad as this guy. And his response is just, God, I'm so fucking drunk right now, man. And I'm like, hey, excuse me, do you know where you want to go? And he's like, yeah, just go. And then he names like a cross street and another street. So I plug it in my phone and I start driving. Then the really messed up guy just starts saying, hey, man, everything is pink right now. Am I dreaming? Where are we? Are we moving? And he's just freaking out right now. Like, there's no way this guy's just drunk. He is on some kind of drug. I don't know what it is, but he's on something. And his friend is just like, calm down, man. Everything's going to be okay. We're almost home. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. So the other guy's like also really drunk, but trying to calm this guy down. And then out of nowhere, the drunk guy is just like, what are your thoughts of Michelangelo? Do you think life is really hard? He just starts saying random things, and those were the exact words that he said in order at that very moment. I'm just acting really awkward, and I'm like, God damn it, I should have just kicked these guys out. I should never have picked them up. What am I doing with my life? This is so not worth it. So the other guy, who's not as bad, is just like, oh, wait, 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 stop. Stop here. Stop. He just says stop in the middle of fucking nowhere, and he's just like, let me off here. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, let me off here, and then you take him to where I said. I'm like, are you gonna be okay? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna be okay. And so the guy just gets out of the car in the middle of some neighborhood. Uh, I'm like two-thirds of the way to the other guy's destination, and the guy just walks off, right? I have no idea where he went. It's still a mystery. 
And then I'm thinking to myself, oh god, I'm stuck with this guy alone now. And he just shuts the fuck up now. So he manages to stay silent the entire way back. And as I let him out of the car, he steps out of the car and trips to the floor. He literally falls face down on the floor and he doesn't get up, right? So I'm thinking to myself, uh, is he okay? Did he pass out or something? And I get out of the car and then he just, he starts to stand up. So he's okay. And I'm like, do you know where you're going? And he's like, yeah, man, I'm going to Candyland. He's just out of it. Like I, this, it's ridiculous. Like this guy isn't even young or anything. This guy must've been in his thirties or maybe even 40 years old. Like this guy was definitely not a little kid or young or in his twenties or anything like that. But uh, he walks off into an apartment complex building and that's the last that I saw of him. Honestly, I really don't know. Um, who who knows what happened to him? I really, I don't know what I should have done in this situation. This was this was my first week driving and I was just shocked. I was, I was, I was in shock after the situation. Thankfully, neither of them vomited in my car. They said a lot of other little things that I didn't mention that weren't really important, but these were probably the most fucked up people that I've had to deal with so far. But yeah, some of you more seasoned Uber drivers are going to be like, lol, that wasn't even that bad. I had to deal with this one day. Fuck you. Yeah. All right, guys, I've only been doing this for a couple of weeks. So far, though, it's been really fun. Most people are awesome. You do deal with some crazies, but that's just part of the job. But it's a lot of fun, and it's pretty good money as well. I think I'm making about 200 to $250 a day driving around in the Napa Valley and Bay Area. So that's like $1,500, $1,600 a week. That's like six k a month. That's like $60,000, 80000 a year, something like that. So it's pretty good. Um, if you guys are interested in driving, if you want to use my link, you can get a bonus of $750 cash added right to your bank account. I believe if you sign up and complete 20 trips or 30 trips or something like that. So if you are interested, if you want to make some money, this is a pretty good part-time slash full-time job type deal. You're kind of your own boss, then feel free to use the link. It does help out and it helps you out as well. And of course, if you guys like this, feel free to like, subscribe, share it with your friends. I'm interested in hearing your stories if you guys are a driver. So feel free to post in the comments if you have anything crazy that's happened to you. And uh, if you guys like this, then I'll come out with another part. I've definitely had many other crazy things happen to me in the past week. This is just one of them. So thanks for taking this ride with me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, guys.